somebody, 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 somebody. Yes. Okay. Excellent stuff. Uh, <coughs> no, we'll stand, we'll stand, we'll stand, because it's so much more fun. It's so much more fun when you can go all the way for this one. This really is excellent. Um, in a, of course, in a therapeutic environment. This is not a therapeutic one at all. Uh, place the camera above the trapdoor, the usual jokes. Um, <laughs> Uh, before we do this, have you got any kind of um, physical ailments, problems, yeah. muscular issues, bones, whatever? No. You're all fit and healthy, etc., etc. Yeah. Not as fit as Adam, though. <laughs> <laughs> Who's as fit as Adam, mate? <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, you know, a lot of the time when you when you think about hypnosis, it's this whole idea of kind of really relaxing down into something. There's another side of hypnosis. You know that kind of excitable thing? You know that feeling? Yeah. You know the idea of going to hypnosis is something that really excites some people? And I don't know whether you, like me, get really excited in that whole sort of frame of being hypnotised and, and going in really deeply into something. And that excitement that it can create inside of you. Whether it's something that you get excited about, whether you do hypnosis or whether you're being hypnotised. Do you, you get yeah. that, that yeah. thing? Have you watched The Sportsman in America? The American Sports on TV? No. But you, you've no. seen no, American sports. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You've seen American sports. Oh, yeah. And you, you've seen, uh, you know what a high five is? Yeah, yeah, yeah that thing yeah. where, you know, where before a sports game, they really G themselves up and, yeah, yeah really go for something. You know how that feels. Yeah. And, you, and get a sense of that feeling now. Really get a sense of G yourself. <laughs> yeah, feel good about it. Because it's important to feel good. Yeah, a bit of a woo. Right. Excellent stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready for this? <laughs> high five. Ready? High five. Steve! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Good. And really enjoy that sleep down there. Really enjoy that deep sense of relaxation. And Adam's just going to tell everybody why he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I just want to point out, um, James, James, of course, combines his hypnosis with, with his magic. And um, there's a video clip I will send you. Um, um, I'll send you a link for it if you tell us that James doing this live in action. Um, um, but one of the things he does is capitalise upon the wow that everyone has when they've seen one of his tricks. And so he's doing, he's, doing his, he's doing magic with cards around a table in a bar, lots of people on looking, and finishes doing the process. And everybody around the table, when he, when he then does the, the show, and, and everyone around the table then sort of, wow, amazing. And he goes, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? High five. And as soon as he high fives, he just instantly goes, sleep. And, and it does the classic pattern interrupt. And you know, most people get taught handshake, pattern interrupt, and so on. But James kind of took it to this next level and did the high five and interrupted the pattern interrupt, locked the elbows, took the guy into hypnosis, and the guy hadn't really, he'd only just seen some other hypnosis. He hadn't been prepared or, or anything else. It was just the sheer, the sheer kind of daring and, and brilliance of such a process. I mean, I've got to be honest, I wasn't expecting to wrestle Andrew to the ground. <laughs> I, thought we were gonna, I thought you were just going to do, uh, 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 you were just going to do a high five and do him, uh, and take him into hypnosis on his feet. But, you know, marvellous entertainment from out there. Um, um, he's, got, he's got to come and study with me this weekend, so we must revive him at some point. Really quickly, uh, a thing on that. Um, uh, I know Adam talks about this on his course and <coughs> things. Um, I, I don't like the way that the drop back is presented in stage hypnosis. <coughs> is ranging from just the you know the person there <coughs> and then sort of slowly falling backwards into the helpers or a couple of people's arms, all the all the way up to being down to, from the yeah, back. The person going <laughs> sleep 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 as the person is yanked to the floor in quite a violent way. My favourite, the, 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 the one that I've most enjoyed playing, <coughs> or the one that I, I have the most respect for, because it has all the same ingredients um, and theatre, because if you think about the concept of the drop back, it is, um, it is ideally so that the person has that full on experience of, of that sensation of the fall and everything that is hypnotic about that feel. But it's dangerous potentially. Whereas, um, and I think, what's his name? K, K, J, K, C? K. C. Johnson, I think his name is. He's a um, hypnotist from the States. 
and he does a lot of sports. He, he, he hypnotizes a lot of sort of bodybuilders and kind of <coughs> people like that. And his variation of the drop back, which is this, it, very similar to what I did there, rather than dropping the person and, and losing that control, it's to use um, almost like an Aikido or a Judo technique, where you, you, you get the person to melt round and down your body. So at no point is his weight against me, so I don't run the risk of injuring myself. <coughs> And his fall is a spiral down rather than a fall down, so he doesn't injure himself either. Uh, when you went down to the, the ground, was there any sensation of impact in any sense? Yet you still had the sensation of the fall. Yeah? And whereas in therapy there is probably rarely, if ever, a necessity to do a drop back of any nature, <laughs> the point I'm making here is don't rule something out because on the surface it has a problem. Maybe the problem can be ironed out and you can find a better way of doing it that is useful and it is beneficial. Okay, so that was just... Yeah, absolutely. And, and for those of you, um, um, I, I, do, I do the drop induction, but I, and, and all my video, my YouTube clips of me doing it are all with catalepsy. Full, so I will install full body catalepsy in order that the person falls very straight and upright and it's very easy the position on your leg and just fall back quite dramatically. Okay.